This is the Packard Bell 74 Packard Bell Hybrid I've been had on the bench and been watching and I think the flyback just failed. Had it on for about 10 minutes and I started to get some arcing noise in the uh, picture and then uh, the picture got really dim so the first thing I did is I put my uh, cathode current meter on it and it's really hot and humid today uh, just uh, take a look here. so what I did is I the cathode current should be about 180 to 200 on this and it just goes right up to 300 and so what I did is to eliminate the regulator and if the high voltage rectifier too was bad as I pulled this off you can see how weak see how weak that is and if I uh, pull it on or off it still stays the same so it's hard to believe this would go bad um, this thing is like uh, new old stock I guess is possible it's pretty hot today temperature in the inside here is 98 degrees and the temperature of the flyback is uh, Uh, 203 degrees and it got that hot really quick so I'm hoping that it didn't internally arc I didn't see any smoke come out of it like I usually do when these things fail but this is pretty disappointing because this is like a uh, new old stock set I have a couple videos on this You can see everything is all these, all this is original. But the arcing noise I heard really kind of bothered me. I see any wax coming out of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything either. Something shorted. pretty depressing. Doing a quick experimental test here at the BNK 1077. Uh, what you do is you uh, to do the, the uh, yoke or um, flyback check you hook to here and you basically turn this calibrate up until you just barely see this light. Then what you try and do is uh, remove as much stuff as you can um, unplug the cap off the high voltage rectifier unplug the plate off the thing pull the yoke out um, you basically hook this across here set that on the light so you hook this between the uh, high voltage rectifier and the um, horizontal output. Adjust that so it just barely goes out and you can see I have one hooked here to the and then the other one hooks here and the light should either not come on or barely come on or maybe even if you put it on just a little bit it should get dimmer and it doesn't it's like the flyback shorted I have a replacement here that I pulled out of a scrap set and I'll do the same test on it and you can see the light actually gets a little dimmer when I hook on 
So that's not encouraging. Uh, I just have a feeling by the way this failed. The noise that I saw in the picture, how hot it got so suddenly, and kind of the symptoms of how it went down that the flyback failed. This is why you never want to leave an old set on unattended. You never want to walk away, not even for five minutes. And a fuse will not protect this in the cathode of the horizontal output because it'll just kind of go up to about 270 milliamps in red plate and melt everything down. It'll never blow a fuse unless you use like a chemical fuse or some high quality special fuse that has a very defined fail point. The uh, best thing to do is just to uh, never leave the set unattended. I'll check more into this but a quick a quick analysis really shows that the flyback died. So here's the final condemning evidence on this flyback measuring between the plate cap, the high voltage rectifier, and the uh, horizontal output tube. Getting uh, 2700 ohms or 2.7 K. On this flyback, the spare one, I'm getting 592 ohms. 592 ohms. And the SAMS says 640 ohms. So 2.7 K, that thing opened up or burnt or something.